All right, man. So here we go. Here is the all Madden test. Uh, we are in the same playbook on offense. We already have our um, our subs made here. Uh, we're gonna get right into wide corner versus uh, cover one hole. Uh, if I can find it, I know it's on the left. There we go. Cover one hole. Excuse his nipples. Um, oh, yeah. Again, this is all Madden. I'll show the options here in the settings. There we go. All Madden. This is all Madden sim. So, here we go. All Madden sim. All pro versus uh, basically three man beating routes, right? Um, now, cover one hole by default is shaded outside. Um, that's where they should go. Uh, or if they're not shaded outside, which, you know, like you should, um, they're playing a straight up man to man. Like, it's a guessing game, kind of, right? Now, with this route combo, again, we're going to run it just the same way we ran it on All Pro. We'll run five reps of each versus each coverage. So, boom. Slant is open. You take it. It's there. What you really want to, what you're really looking for though, is getting that tight end on that that corner route um, versus a backer or a safety. Right now, Irv Smith is not the greatest tight end, so he might not cook his man. That time he did. But that's the alignment. That's, you know, 76 man coverage uh, safety. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason I picked these um, Vikings. They have very low level starters at every DB position. Plant, not really there. Again, this this is a, this is a route combo that's open every rep on All Pro. Why? Because of the alignment. The outside corner is shaded outside, and he has outside leverage. Snap of the ball here. You can see that he's literally just like those gather steps. He's just getting into position to completely bag this play. Walks right through his man. Does not get a rub, a bump, or anything like that. And he's all over this route. Like, that's the difference between all pro and all Madden. That right there. The first rep, he was open, sure. Well, that's... We're, we're basically one and one, right? So we'll get into it again. And again, this is Wilson has 77 short route run, and uh, Patrick Peters has 78 man coverage. So, as even as it's going to get, right? Looking to throw the slant. That time he did get a little bit of a rub, but the uh, hook, the hook curl defender there and cover one hole, cover one rat is um, actually in position to make that play right there. So, again, we're watching Patrick Peterson at the top of the screen. Gets that same gather step. That time he gets picked by his own defender, his own teammate. That's what you're looking for in this, this combo here. That's what you're looking for right there. Boom, snap the ball, run the pick route, get the pick, get the catch. And this is basic football concepts. This is not me going and saying, like, Oh, let me go see what works in Madden. No, this is a this is a route concept that is run at the professional level, at every level of football, honestly. Essentially, it's switch. It's a switch concept. You got an outside breaking route from the slot and an inside breaking route from the outside. Switch, forcing those DBs to choose. Sometimes they switch mans, uh, switch men. Uh, now that's two catches, one incomplete. Gun. Same motion here. The receiver actually got bumped on that one. And I could have thrown the tight end route. But we're literally just, you know, looking just to throw the slant. Because this is what should be open versus outside leverage. He <laughs> he runs into the... Like, man. Give me consistent route running, bro. Give it, just give it to me consistently. Let 25 run underneath or end or behind 84. We'll get into that as well. Like I know mesh runs terrible on all Madden as well. So, but uh, yeah, there you go. But as you can see, when the DB doesn't get picked, he's he's running to the spot before the receiver gets there. Now you can say that this this is obviously we're not going to count this rep. Like this man's foot is through the grass. We're not going to count this rep. <laughs> we're not going to count that one, man. Um, 
bring uh, Wilson in motion again here. Does he get picked? X is open there. And that's also against outside leverage. Now, what I'm reading here is you're just reading the mesh point. Who gets open? I see that that, that that receiver bumps into that tight end again. I'm like, not throwing a slant this time, even though I could have. Slant's wide open. That's why I say a lot of nine times out of ten, this slant should be open in this concept. Nine times out of ten. Boom. Even though he gets picked by his, his, uh, his tight end, the DB gets picked by the safety, and boom. Wide open slant. But we also got, because they did bump into each other there, we also got the tight end open on the corner. Bad rack animation, but Gun. Again, Wilson here. Tight end got picked. I mean, the safety got picked. I wonder if that, that would have been scored a touchdown. That would be pretty cool. If it is, but that's a nice animation, not going to lie. Um, that is one of the things that I do like about this game, the animations like that. Um, now, taking a look at it again. Boom. Both DBs run into each other. Take your pick. Take your pick. That's why you run these concepts here. You get DBs to run into each other. So in all Madden, we're getting um, our pick route combo switch. Uh, what, completing 80%? That's good, right? It's good. Love to see it. Hopefully it stays the same. Stays consistent. Now we're getting to another play here. That was versus cover one hole. Again, cover one hole. Your DBs are head up on the receivers. There's no outside shade unless you're creating it. And they're shaded outside. All right? So we'll get into cover two man. Cover two man, by default, bump and run coverage. You're shaded underneath and inside. As you can see, by the leverage of the cornerbacks, if we just put everybody on streaks, everybody, all the DBs are going to be lined up inside of their receivers. Uh, now, the only outlier here is Irv Smith, who was a tight end, uh, which is being covered by inside linebacker. But all the DBs are all shaded inside, as you can see here, all right? Get the play to the fault. So when they're shaded underneath and inside, this slant should be bagged because that DB is told to specifically play inside of that route on that guy. Gets picked masterfully. Masterfully gets picked. That is good. This is why we're testing this out. I don't want it to be, you know, like, I don't want to just say, oh, yeah, we're just going to switch to all pro. And we should all, we should only switch to all pro. That should be the only option. That has to be the only option. No, I test this shit. Outside leverage, but he shaded underneath and inside. Snap of the ball. Seven loses his rep. And gets picked. Beautiful. That's why you run these concepts here. Beautiful. And underneath and inside, not saying that that's how people shade when they're in zero blitz, but a lot of times people are pressing their coverage and shading over the top, which should also get this slant open. If you're going to shade over the top, tell your DB not to give any deep passes, not to give up a streak for a touchdown. If you tell them to do that, then they should be giving up the slant. All right? Inside, got picked again. Take another look at the rep here. Number 25. Again, this is not an elite wide receiver. This is Albert Wilson versus Patrick Peterson. Now, at this looks like a really good rep at the start. Peterson's on his ass. And Peterson gets bumped. Peterson gets picked. Bang. He runs into his own teammate. And that's what springs our guy wide open for a nice completion. He has two to three yards of separation there. Now, if we're looking at the other side of the play here, again, we're just you know, running our same motion, keep everything consistent. We're going to look at the whip route to Thielen here. Got open, but we had immense pressure. It was really quick pressure right there. 
we'll take a look at that. Now, this is Adam Thielen, who is uh, a good tier uh, receiver, like high 80s route running and release across the board. Um, he's able to get separation here, but he also does have slotomatic. Now, what I do not like, and I still hate, I'm sure that this double team is what caused this pressure. Yes, of course. This this is this is another all Maddenism. This doesn't hap happen as often on all pro. Now it does happen when there's an elite pass rusher getting double teamed, but this is not an elite pass rusher. Harrison Phillips, maybe at the most 73 overall. Nowhere near nowhere near 90 power move. It's probably 74, 75 power move. And he just beats this double team instantly. He beats the double team faster than everyone else wins their one-on-one -on -one blocks. That is not good. That is the reason why I have always, always, since I realized it, opted for superstar pass, I mean superstar offensive linemen and get post up on them and have them at guard. Because if you have post up on your guard or even your center, who's most likely going to be double teaming anyways, you can get dominant double team wins and they don't just come through the line like this faster than guys can win one on one blocks. That's uh, I don't know if uh, 55 has edge threat anymore, but that's uh, uh, an elite pass rusher versus a very poor pass blocker at left tackle. And he comes around the mountain when he comes and that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. But what you don't want is you, you want to be able to defend on two guys to block one in this game. And on all of those all pro reps that we ran in that hour long video, I can maybe count on one hand how many times we've seen um, a double team win faster than the single team block. That sucks. That sucks. That has to change. Don't make post up a necessity in this game again. Anywho, taking a look at Thielen again. We're going to slide our line to the right towards the back. Let's see if we can possibly not get a double team by 97. Wins the rep, but we get it under pressure. Now, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that to an extent. Uh, obviously, like I said, I don't want the double team win here. Um, but, you know, we got it under pressure here from who knows. Maybe 99, maybe 55. It looked like a clean pocket to me. I don't know why this is under pressure. <laughs> and you're throwing a, a five-yard route, you know, 10 total yards of travel time. Um, travel distance, I mean. Um, because you're throwing a whip right there at the line of scrimmage. And it's, it, you, you get an under pressure. Okay. Um, <laughs> slide our line to the right towards the back here. We're not expecting a blitz. Um, we don't want that double team. We go good accuracy there. And again, this should work versus two man under because you're shaded underneath and inside. That's really what I want to showcase here. I wanted to showcase if all Madden versus different shaded, you know, different shades of man coverage does the routes that are supposed to win get open. What's funny is you can see that slant coming scot free across that across the field here. Didn't even get much of a pick. He just lost a rep. And he's not faster than Patrick Peterson. Honestly. He's in front of him, though. He's in front of him. Underneath the inside, but because we motioned him to this stack formation, um, Patrick Peterson is now in outside leverage, which he should be giving up ground. The same ground that we... The same ground that is given up from the alignment is the same ground that is kept throughout the rep. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. It's just simple and plain. Leverage should matter. Leverage should matter. Here we go. If I can get to the damn replay, here we go. <laughs> um, now, again, we're just looking at this. This is the, the pass we completed here. Uh, we get the inside route, outside release. The DB is in phase the entire time. He gets hands on um, because 
Thielen's route starts inside. He's able to get hands on. He's had he has inside shade, inside inside technique. Um, he's able to basically if he's running a drag, Sullivan's on his ass, but he breaks that off and runs a whip, separates. That's what you want to see. That that is good. That is good. Um, I think we're done with two men under. I think we've gotten our five reps in there. Uh, we'll get into zero blitz versus wide corner. Um, we'll get into everyone's favorite Nick blitz. Um, now, again, uh, just as we did in the All Pro video, we're going to block our running back and we're going to shade slide away from our running back, forcing our running back to pick up that blitzer on the edge to his side. Um, that is that is two jet, man. Two jet. If we were doing scat protection here. We would slide our line to the right and we would ID this guy. All right now, what that's what that should do. Our line should slide right, and Cook should scan from the mic to the will of who's coming. That's exactly what he did. That's another pass protection one-on-one for you, right? Pass protection one-on-one. You have two jet, which is you slide away from the back. And the, the back should pick up the end man on the line of scrimmage towards his side. If you go scat protection, you're sliding towards the back and the back scans from right to left and picks up the edge rusher from the left side. So boom, snap of the ball. We see our left tackle blocks down, left guard blocks down. Everybody's picked up and then Cook is going to come across the face of the quarterback and pick up the edge rusher there. Beautiful, beautiful pass protection there. Amazing. Now, we're looking at the rep here versus cover zero. Um, boom, we got our whip route. That's why that's open. 100%. Off coverage, whip route, inside shade. Just, just trust the whip. The whip should be trusted here nine out of ten times. As, as you can see, that, that defender... On that inside break, he's on it. And then and then, you know, like Thielen just leaves him. Thielen just leaves him. Right? Um, looking at the rep from the other side here, our switch concept. You got the safety coming from the heavens to defend the corner. And then you got the inside oh well, outside shade, uh outside alignment from the corner on the right, uh, which essentially opens up that slant. Slant's open, take it. Slant's open, take it. Simple. Throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. It's open. What also gets open here is the corner out. I don't know if it was because um, the little bump right there, but 84 makes a great cut. He's off to the sidelines there. Why is that? Because when you're in zero blitz, you're essentially playing off coverage and over the top. So you're not giving up touchdowns on streaks. Right? Most people are going to do that in Madden as well. Um, and by default, that's what it is. That's what it should be. You know, like there's no safety help. So you got to get on your horse and get back there. So you're giving up, you're giving up most cuts. Everybody's open here. Even Jefferson at the top. Um, eh, I wouldn't say he's open. I don't like the way he ran it. He, he's running the outside stem to his route as well. Uh, so he's running out to that red line there and cutting inside, uh, which is a nice, nice setup. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe a down and inside pass lead. We get that in, but no. Um, run a couple more reps here. We'll run. We'll run two jet. Um, so basically, we're ID and the mic on the right side here. We're running our little stack alignment. Slant is open. Take it. <laughs> now that wasn't open. The slant was. And I said prior to snapping the ball, if the slant's open, take it. All right? The slant's open, take it. Boom. It's open. It's open. 100%. It's open. It's open versus blitz zero. But I still wanted to get flashy and throw the corner out. Because why not? Why not? <laughs> but that's all Madden. That's good. I like to see it. A couple more reps here. Block the running back, slide away. 
He's gonna pick up that in man with the uh, M on his head. Whip route. Wide ass open. Can we get a hurdle? No. This is good. This is good for all men. Now we're gonna slide protect oh, uh, towards the back and uh, ID the uh, left side guy so we can get that scat protection to work seamlessly again. Slants there. Take it. Took the hit. Now let's see how that protection held up as well. And this is all, all obviously we're, we're running routes versus man coverage, but we also always want to check our protection. And that is a beautiful blitz pickup right there, man. Um, you never want your running back with the mic ID as the inside linebackers here. You don't want your guys to be trying to cut block them and stuff like that. It never ends well. <laughs> never ends well. Um, and in all reality, depending on who you have at tackle, like who who's the most athletic guy? Who has the highest acceleration? Who can get out to an edge rusher faster, right? Or does does the uh, the defense have an edge rusher that is supremely fast, like a Micah Parsons, uh, Odafe Owe, um, Brian Burns? You have a super athletic guy like that, right? Um, you want that tackle to pick up that guy, um, and you want your running back to slide to the opposite guy. Because even though he, that, that 55 is coming free on the left side, yeah, it looks like he's coming free, but that running back just slides right over there, picks him up, and you have basically have two routes open here. You got your whip, you got your drag, um, or your slant, and that tight end route is open here. Wide-ass open up top. Wide-ass open. Sheesh. All right, we're going to move on, though. Uh, again, this is this is my this is my this has been my go-to play for man coverage. Now, man coverage hasn't been good at all in Madden 22. Uh, nothing was good in Madden 22. Um, and then Madden 21, I want to say it wasn't it wasn't as dominant as this year, but Madden 20 was definitely a man coverage year. Um, anytime you have a good pass rush, you're gonna get you're gonna have good man coverage because it's gonna stick long enough to get the rush in. Um, now, I do want to show something else. Uh, this is a check and release. Uh, now, if we ID over here, we're still going to only check and release to our side. All right? Even though we're IDing the mic on the left, as you can see, the M is on the left. Check and release. You're good. That's little C that's over the right side of the end. That's always going to be there because he's checking and releasing to that side. Boom. Fix it up. That was, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy indeed. Safety came down a guy hit in the face with a ball. Um, yeah, that's just wild. But as you can see, the blitz is picked up. Uh, the check and release. Running back is able to pick up uh, the blitzer there. Um, our whip route, not open, ironically. Uh, but what is, slant's open. Corner route's open. Yep. So we'll get into the next play, man. This video is just going to be really, really long. I, there's no way to really slow these down. Uh, we're getting into mesh next. Mesh against cover one hole. Start. Uh, here you go. The way mesh should be ran is you see the uh, the triangle route that has the red uh, route to it. That's the primary guy because he's supposed to run under the tight end, as you can see in the play art. Run under the tight end. The tight end should pick his man off for him, and triangle should be open. Actually, work right there. That's good to know. It's good to know. Again, like I said, I'm not against all Madden. I am testing all of this stuff out for specific reasons. Now, the, when you're running mesh, right? You have a guy on the line of scrimmage, which is the tight end. And you have a guy off the line of scrimmage, which is Thielen. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're telling them to run those, the same depth route. So you want Thielen to run a three yard drag and you want, uh, Irv Smith to run a three yard drag. Once they get to their routes here, boom, they'll actually run it at five. Yeah, they're running at five yards each. Um, but essentially this is how it's supposed to look. 84 over top of 19. That's how it's supposed to look. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if we can get this rep to run like this every time, 
how mesh is supposed to be ran. Like, this is ideal. Versus off coverage, this is ideal. That's very interesting. I guess it's an under pressure though, that's what happens. But, um, we're gonna slide our line to the right towards the back again, because we don't want that double team. We don't want that double team right there. This man got picked off again. We'll just run this uh, in the instant replay again here, man. Um, essentially, what we're getting here is off coverage. He's not pressed. He's not, you know, like up in Thielen's face. He's not on the line of scrimmage. Um, he's Now, he's in phase. He's in phase here. What happens is that inside guy, that little that yellow zone, plus the tight end and his man coming across. You're ma basically waiting for the mesh point here for somebody to run into somebody. And that's how you read mesh. If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Run a couple more reps here. Run. Bring in Wilson just to keep it, you know, keep it consistent how we've been running it. That was a hell of a wind up for that pass. It's unfortunate. Oh, we also did not slide our line that time. Seventy-seven is just like super winded on that tackle. That's funny. Now Thielen separates here. We might have to run uh, Wilson in that spot in the slot just because, obviously Thielen has slotomatic, and he's a superior route runner, as opposed to this DB. Now what I don't like is this wind up here for this drag, bro. Like, it's literally ten yards depth down the field, and you're throwing it seven yards to your right. Uh, maybe 15 by the time it gets there, but still, <laughs> we just put it on them, you know. We don't have to wind up for this, man. We don't have to wind up for that. I don't think anyway. Uh, so we'll slide our line to the right. Gun. Bring our guy in motion here just to keep it consistent with the uh, the one-man meeting route. Play. Boom. Match point. All right. Now, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to take Thielen out for a couple reps here. And we'll run, uh, what's his face there? Um, Albert Wilson. <sighs> Called the play like a dumb dumb. Call another time out here. <laughs> oh man, practice mode, bro. Um, let's just get out of this. Wilson there, stealing there. Boom. Back into mesh. Back into cover one hole. Now, uh, bring our motion in. Slide our line to the right. So we don't get that double team on 97. Boom. It's picked naturally. Good to know. Now, what I what I would like to see though is some type of you know a little bit more organic maybe. Uh, and 84 spring it open sometimes. Um, that would be ideal. But you know, beggars can't be choosers here. What we do get is a very consistent rub. From 84 and his man. Boop. Just a little bit of bump right there. You know, now this is obviously offensive pass interference. <laughs> this is obvious, obvious offensive pass interference, man. He literally puts his hand on his back and impedes him as he's trying to cover 25. <laughs> obviously impedes him. Um... Again, one more rep here. Slide our line to the right because we don't want to double team on 97. The same pick. You can hurt him, man. All right. Now, one thing we didn't test is uh, Jefferson on that double move there. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can get this off here. It gets picked off. It said good accuracy. That's what I don't like about this game as well. It says good accuracy on passes that are clearly not good. Um, and that pisses me off. Because I'll be like, yo, it said good accuracy. Like, clearly, uh, they lied. Because um, we step up in the pocket here. Get our ball down the field, but it's just underthrown. All right. We'll run it one more time. Hey, flipper, flipper. Gun. All right. Run it one more time here. Why not? To look to step up. 
Ooh, and the hurdle worked. And the hurdle worked. Okay, that's one for the ages. That's one for the ages. All right, so against you know off man coverage, um, Jefferson's gonna come up here and run his route. Boom, stick his foot in the dirt, separate, get the ball here, and get a hurdle. Oh, that is beautiful. That that is beautiful. Hopefully, I can get this to happen in game on somebody, and I am absolutely positively screenshotting it, recording it, all of the above, because that shit looks fucking good. <laughs> that shit looks fucking good, bro. Devon, she nigga, God bless you. God damn. <laughs> Alright, choose a new play, man. Let's get into the next one. Um, so mesh against zero. Here we go. Mid blitz. Now, of course, again, we got a blocker running back. Slide away from him. Get that two jet. Still get sacked. That's tough. Who's up with the protection right here? Let's see. Cut block, which is always good. I love to see cut blocks in this game. If I got a mobile quarterback, not Kirk Cousins. <laughs> uh, now, Kirk has all the accuracies and the 98 play action and everything like that, but he is not mobile. Uh, and two guys are winning their reps right here simultaneously in the same exact manner. And we're getting sacked. That's actually the two inside linebackers. That's funny. The two non-pass rushers win their reps. Now, against zero, mesh isn't good. Mesh isn't good. At all. 25 is bagged. 84, bagged. This is this is the all Madden man coverage I'm used to seeing. With the DB running the route <laughs> in front of the receiver. Um, same here. DB in front of the receiver. That's what I'm used to seeing. It's crazy. So it's like, you know, like, all right, cool. I just can't run man against, I mean, I can't run mesh against um, zero, huh? That's basically what it's saying to me. Like, they're not open. He caught it, but he's not open. He caught it. He's not open. That should have been a pick. This should have been a pick, for sure. Snap of the ball. My man's is in off coverage. Drag is coming. He's all over it. We throw it anyway. Under pressure. Under pressure. He goes with a swat. That's interesting. Now, here's the other thing. Now, let's... Let's run scat. Versus this. I think that picks it up better. Wow, that's wide open. Now that 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 protection scheme had nothing to, to, to do with that damn <laughs> had nothing to do with that route, but he won that time. He won that time. He's open. For sure. What I did like is I had more time by sliding towards the back, having the back scan. Had more time. Probably could have hit the double move there. Probably could have hit the double move there. Not going to lie. That drag is wide open. Sheesh. I mean, this is just, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the call for me versus man coverage um, too often, especially not zero. Um, now, if I see single high safety, I might go. I might go mesh, um, but nah. Th this seems like fluke to me because that that just wasn't getting open before. And he ran. He got bumped in the coverage as well by the safety. Um, black, black. Max protect. Slide away from the back. I be the opposite side. I hit as we threw there. Trying to hit the double move. Let's see. 
Actually, let's see the, the wrap underneath as well. Let's see what the mesh looks like. Open. Mesh is open. That corner route looked wild, wide open too. Ooh, wee. Patrick Peters, what you doing, brother? Routed. God damn. Run! <laughs> Gun! Block the running back. Slide to him. Hey, receiver, receiver! Uh, the opposite side. Wow, uh, barely getting it off, but. Let's see the rep here. It's Justin Jefferson with Route Tech, 90 plus man. I mean, uh, 90 plus route running, 95 release. Booth is with him step for step. It might be the timing of the throw as well. Because obviously, the DBs react to the, you know, actually throwing the ball here. Hey, flipper, flipper! Gun! Try to open, take it. Get to the end zone. Hey. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Starting to realize uh, my protection schemes a little bit more as well. Why shallow cross? Cover one hole. Now th <laughs> this one. I'm really honestly just looking for um, triangle here. And this is not a good route combo versus man unless your tight end is elite. All right, got our guy, our dig open. Rep one. Now we're doing, we're smart routing them just like we did versus all pro. Stuff up here. Now we hit a rack catch there, and the first time we com completed it, the second time we did not. So we're sliding away from, so I'm sliding right, meaning I'm sliding away from the nose, because I don't want that double team. I don't want it, like, that immediate double team loses. Wow, under pressure, wow. Okay, where's the pressure? Why did it affect that throw that much? I threw the dig. This is pressure? Oh, man. Yikes. Fearless is a necessary ability in this game. Where's the pressure? It's a clean pocket, if you ask me. It's a clean platform to deliver a pass. And it goes into the dirt. That could have been picked off by 54. That's tough. All right, sliding away from that nose tackle there. Possession catch that time. That's three out of four. Sliding away. The rep. Down and inside pass lead. Possession catch. Oh, that's completed. That's five versus cover one man. Uh, cover one hole. Then they get into cover two man. Why shallow cross again? Cover two man. Sliding away from the double team. We didn't smart route him that time. That's unfortunate. Cover two man sliding away. Smart route and triangle. Now X was not open. At all. I don't know what that tight end is doing at the beginning of this route, but it's really pissing me off. Like, he's pausing. Like, what is that? That's not supposed to be like that. Like, that pause. What is that? Man, it's just started pantomiming, like, in the middle of a play. And the deep, I mean, the linebacker does it too, but still, that's fucking retarded. Did it again. I don't get it. Should I redrag him? I did it again. 
Okay, this dig is consistently beating Shandon Sullivan. Sliding left this time. Let's see what happens. Oof, I want to say. I slid left, left guard did nothing. Holy. Watch the slide left. So step up, right? Because your guard should pick up that 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 D in after he absolutely destroys the left tackle. Nope. Yo, my man threw his hands up. Said, you got beat, not me. He said, damn, you let him beat your ass, bro. That's crazy. And just going like, ah, that's wild. That is wild. He's going to go back to sliding right. <laughs> Feeling out here dunking on folks. <laughs> I just had to try it. All right, man. Let's get into the next series of reps here. Shallow cross versus zero blitz. Oh, shit, it's right here. Blitz, zero. Here we go. So, by default, our check and release guy is uh, IDing the guy on the right. Now, what we realize is that we like it better when our line slides right. Hey, flipper, flipper. And homie picks up that guy that's there. That's what, I like that better. Maybe it's not for the better. <laughs> Didn't work out for me, man. Didn't work out for me at all. Let's try this again. Slide our line towards the back. ID opposite of the back. See if we can pick this up. We do. It's not, it's not as clean though. That one's not as clean. So he does ID the proper guy. And we do get, not really a pocket, but we're able to step up into the pocket. We just got to anticipatorily hit the dig. Did he get a swipe at the ball? 54. Uh, that's just his animation coming out of the coming out of the pass rush. Cousins tucked that. That's cool. He tucked it. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna let the play rock how it is. Slide away from the back, and the mic is where he's gonna pick up on that checking room. Ooh, under pressure back shoulder? Aight. Damn, 22, what you doing, bro? <laughs> Throw it back behind him. Ooh, what an adjustment, 84. That's beautiful, actually. That's actually beautiful. Under pressure. Under pressure probably really caused this to be completion. Whoop. <laughs> nah, I tried to complete that same throw and it ended up the interception. <laughs> oh, man. Try to complete the same throw. Try to throw it behind 84. Um. Gets picked off. Okay. Again, like I said, this is not the best route combo to run versus zero. Unless you're just throwing up this fade here. This back shoulder fade. Uh, which, I mean, Patrick Peterson is still a really good size DB. 6'1", 215 pounds. Be able to get that one, though. But if you're going to see zero, you should be able to throw up 50-50s. You know, that's two for the defense, one for the offense. Flat and right. Three for the defense, two for the offense. Flat and right from the back. 
Four for the defense, two for the offense. Sliding away from the back, going to the Down an outside pass lead. Now, the timing of this is tricky. Um, what you really gotta do is wait till that DB turns his back. That's ideally how, when you want to throw a back shoulder fade. When the DB turns his back. Hey, Seaver, Seaver. Yeah, still making a play on it. Sliding away from the back here. Line out, line out. Right, the, Mike is the guy that's coming. And if you throw it too early, there you go. That's what happens. He's able to make that play because he's still looking at the quarterback. Here, and this is what I mean. Take a look at Patrick Peterson's eyes, right? Look, his helmet, essentially. Snap of the ball, he's looking at the QB. Looking at the QB. That ball comes out. He sees that arm come back. He's ready for it. You got to throw those back shoulder fades once the DB turns their head. Hey, flipper, flipper! Even still, he's able to make that play. Oh, man. That's tough. That's tough. These are throws like, I'm like, bro, like, in Madden, it would be so cool if you could just throw back shoulder fades. Like, his back is turned. He has no clue that this ball is coming. And then, boop. He sees it. Look look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at the helmet. Watch the helmet. Head tracking. Head tracking. He's watching the receiver because he's in man coverage. Receiver hasn't given a tell that the ball is in the air or anything like that. He doesn't put his hands up. Patrick Peterson looks inside now i don't know if he can see this out of peripheral vision or what but he's able to track the ball from looking left and come back right plant and go up and get the ball that's that part i don't like that part i don't like so away from the back Ugh. Ooh, but that's actually Poor pass got a completion. Yikes. Yikes. That's interesting. Like if I could if I knew that throwing a 50-50 ball is either my receiver catches it or it's an incomplete pass, instead of, oh, this is a 50-50 interception. <laughs> like I would feel comfortable throwing these. For sure. For sure. So if we just uh, throw a, a straight up outside pass in here. Still broken up by the DB. Patrick Peterson doing his thing. Feeling dropped it. He's got 98 catches. That's tough. All right. Let's get into Y Shallow Cross versus Two Man Under. I feel like we, we definitely played around with that a little bit too long. <laughs> right, we're gonna slide towards the back here. Smart route, our receiver, our spot guy. He went inside, boom, put it on him. Kendra's hair actually looks good in this game. No homo. But uh, here, here you go. Two men under shaded underneath the inside is what the defense is by default. 25 wins inside. That should not happen. Sullivan should not give up that leverage. And he just absolutely just steps to the right and gives it up. I don't get it. I don't get it. This, again, this is all Madden. That's tough. That's tough. He just gave, he has inside leverage by an entire yard. Completely gives it up. Off rip. That's crazy. That is insane, actually. Um, yeah, but nothing else really wins in this, in this play. Sliding towards the back here. Gives up that inside leverage again. Put it on him. Now, what I'm, I'm pass leading this inside and underneath. Um, I'm going to try passing it up this time. Inside and up. He wins inside. He does. Still, still a complete pass. Black, black. 
And these are two evenly evenly matched players here. So smart route it and put him on the line of scrimmage. See if uh, Sullivan wins the rep here. That time, 25 did not win inside. Uh, the DB was able to keep his leverage. Yep, was able to keep his leverage. I don't know what that little pitter patter is right there. That's crazy. He still wins actually inside. That's, that's wild. Hey, no, he's easy. Let's put him on a hot route. See what happens here. Throw, throw. Got a line right. Boom. Underneath an inside shade plays an out route better than it plays an in route. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. The same little stutter that he did in that last rep. Breaks down. Don't, 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 don't. Pitter patter. Look, turns around, looks for the ball, gets the swat. Okay. Did not win inside. Did not win inside. Actually separates though. It's crazy. All right. I think we've seen enough here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. You've seen all Madden uh, defense cover two man, which is shaded underneath and inside. You've seen cover one hole, which is shaded over the top and outside, and you've seen over the top shaded cover zero blitzes. So there you go. There it is. Um, again, the wide shallow cross probably shouldn't have been in this video, uh, just based on that it's not a great man coverage beating route. It's a zone coverage combo. The Mills console concept on the left should beat cover four, match, cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six, cover nine. It should beat that, right? Because you're forcing a safety to choose between the, the dig or the post, right? Uh, versus cover three, um, you're reading that hook curl defender that's essentially where you want to throw uh, the dig. Um, if the hook curl defender comes down for the drag, you throw the dig. If he stays back for the dig, you throw the drag. Simple. And there's a triangle read concept on there. I'll run that once against cover three so you can see it. Um, uh, if we can find cover three sky, there we go. Cover three sky. That guy that has the M over his head, that's the guy you're reading. Uh, we're going to go ahead and smart route him as well. Get the most amount of separation. He's staying back for that dig. Throw the drag underneath. Easy way to beat cover three. Um, the reason I, I, I do call this a lot of times, and, it's versus, and it is versus man, is because, you know, like, you've got a single high safety. Could be man, could be zone, right? Uh, but if you're really paying attention, if you're really locked in, you can tell whether it's man or zone based on the alignment of the DBs. Um, but, yeah. Um, but that when that hook curl defender... This guy right here, when he's sinking back, he's covering that dig. He's getting in the lane of that dig. Um, so in the space that he's vacating, you just throw the drag right under it. It's a triangle read. If you look at it, at the time when they're when they running their routes, when everybody's out on their route, you got the running back, you got the drag, and you got the, um, the dig coming behind it all. Triangle read. All right? Um, Run it again here. Step of the ball. Throw the dig. Throw the drag. Let's see if we can get him to cover that damn drag. Come down for the drag one time, my boy. Nope. All right. Cool. And that's the other thing about this play. So, like, you would say, like, oh, if, I, if I'm using, if I'm on defense and I'm using against this play, I'm just going to use that other hook defender to take away the drag. And if you do that, you got that spot route right here. Little ghost guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to right down. He was not. But yeah, if you take that hook defender 54 and cover the, the drag, then you essentially have that right there open for a nice little, nice little play right there. Wow. Okay. Slide away from the double team. Ooh. This is 
is what this is where having a, a, a elite right tackle, left tackle would come in play. Ooh, we got murdered. Sheesh. And of course, you can always go for verticals against cover three. Dead out, dead out, dead out. Alright, man. That's it, man. Love peace, buck, peace, and all.